Hi everyone there at WNCC. My name is Martin Gilmore and uh, I was a student at WNCC from 2002 until 2004. And uh, I'm going to shoot in this video for the Fine Arts Fridays video series that they're doing. And uh, I guess this video series uh, features videos from former students and faculty and people associated with the college, so I'm really proud to be part of it. I enjoyed my time at, at WNCC. I sang in Rita Stinner's choirs for a long time and played in uh, the studio band under uh, Nat Johnson, and um, yeah, it was a really great time. I, I really look, look back on that as a really fond experience. Nowadays, I'm a professor of bluegrass music at the University of Northern Colorado uh, in their new folk and bluegrass department. I teach uh, bluegrass guitar and I lead the bluegrass ensemble. Uh, and I've been a professional musician playing bluegrass and folk music now for, geez, almost, uh, oh, geez, 15, almost 20 years, I would suppose. I kind of got my start uh, as a solo musician there in Scott's Bluff playing around it different different places, the Cappuccino and Company, and uh, uh, lots of other places. And I got to play my guitar with the choirs and, and uh, played guitar with the studio band as well. Uh, those were really great times. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to play you some songs and uh, uh, do some of that uh, with the music. If you're interested in more about me, martingilmore.com is my website. Um, and uh, the Folk and Bluegrass Department at UNC is a fairly new thing. There aren't very many programs like that in the country. Um, so if you are interested in perhaps pursuing uh, country music or bluegrass music or folk music, this is kind of a new path for those, those folks. And uh, we've had a, a three really good years so far, and we're hoping for a lot more. So I'm going to play you a traditional tune. This is a, a folk song called The Golden Vanity that's been reimagined several times. The Carter family recorded it. Uh, the Chad Mitchell trio recorded it. And uh, this is my version of it. Ship, she sailed on the sea, and the name of that ship it was a golden vanity. And she feared she would be taken by a Turkish enemy. She sailed on the low and lots of alone. She sailed on the low land sea. Well, up stepped cabin boy, just the age of twelve and three, and says to the captain, What will Turkish enemy and sink her in the low and lots of low and sink her in the low and sea. silver and I would give you gold and of my daughter if you would be so bold to swim along the side of a Turkish enemy and sink her in the low and lots of low and sink her in the low and sea so the boy grabbed his tools and on the side jumped he and he swam to the side of a Turkish enemy 
Then he swam back to the side of the golden vanity And he called to the captain to haul him from the sea But the captain wouldn't heed for his daughter he didn't need And he left him in the low end, lots of low He left him in the lowland sea Oh, there was a lofty ship and she sailed on the sea she sailed without a cabin boy at the age of twelve and three And she feared she would be taken by a Turkish enemy She sailed on the low end, not so low She sailed on the low land And she sailed on the low, the low land low She sailed on the low land Thanks. Uh, let's see. I think I'll just do kind of an assortment of, of folk and country songs that kind of exhibit what we're doing at UNC, and I'll do some original stuff too. Um, so here's one that comes from Jimmy Rogers. Jimmy Rogers was uh, is one of the people who is considered to have started the country music genre, and uh, he and the Carter family were kind of the, the very first to record under that name of country music. Before that, there was like hillbilly music, they would call it, or old-time music, uh, jug band, that kind of stuff. And those those certainly had like roots uh, of, of country music, or were the roots of country music. But uh, Jimmy Rogers, the singing brakeman, he wrote a lot of really cool songs. And he was famous for bringing the yodel into country music, which kind of became a really signature thing. So here's a song that he uh, did called Any Old Time. Well, I just received your letter You're down and out, they say At first I thought I would tell you To ramble on the other way But in my memory lingers All that you once were to me So I'm gonna give you another chance To prove what you can be Any old time you wanna come back Drop me a line and say no more you roam. Well, you had your chance to play the game fair. But now that you are gone, you only have a lonely care. Well, now that you're down, I'm going to stick by you. So much. Uh, let's see. I lived for two years uh, in Egypt, in Cairo, Egypt, while well, my wife was teaching uh, overseas at an international school. And uh, while I was there, 
a friend of mine, we called ourselves the International Men of Leisure. <laughs> he was a former newspaper editor, and uh, I'm just a musician, so I can go anywhere and, and do what I do. And I met a lot of really great uh, folk musicians there in Egypt. Well, uh, they have a big folk music tradition. Egypt is kind of the center of the Arabic folk music world. Uh, and so I met a lot of these really great musicians and decided that before I came home, I should write some songs and, and record a record. So I, I wrote a couple of songs, uh, an instrumental, uh, and then this next one that I'm going to play for you and recorded it with an oud player. His name was, is, I guess he's still around, uh, is Islam El Abati. And uh, he's an amazing oud player. If you don't know what the oud is, I have one right here. Mm, you can barely see it. There it is. That's my oud right there. You've probably heard it before, and no doubt it's a sound that you would be familiar with, but uh, it's kind of the Arabic guitar, Arabic lute. It's fretless, uh, and it has a really cool percussive type sound. But I am an enthusiast about Western history, and I actually used to volunteer at the, at the National Monument there in Scotts Bluff, and I was a park ranger at Fort Laramie National Historic Site for a long time. So I have deep roots in the North Platte River Valley. Um, but I remembered in Western history a story that kind of related to the uh, area around Egypt that uh, back in the 1850s when they were fighting Apaches on the, in the southwest in the Mojave Desert, somebody thought it would be a really good idea to bring a bunch of camels over from the Middle East and, and to see if they could get the upper hand that way. And along with those camels came camel drivers. One of the camel drivers, his name was Haji Ali, but uh, people couldn't say his name correctly, and so they called him Hi Jolly. And he's buried in Quartzsite, Arizona. So this is a song I wrote. Uh, I wrote it about Hi Jolly. And uh, to tell the story of the Camel Corps, it wasn't really a success. But you'll still see camels around, and a lot of those camels are descended from the camels that they brought over from the Camel Corps. So here's that song. Well now me, I am a camel man. I'm a Syrian, I'm an Ottoman. I came across to the Rio Grande under orders from Buchanan. Geronimo, our Apache foe, he rides the range to Mexico. Further than our horses go, and we think you can change the show. So call me High Jolly. Haji Ali, I'm a man of war in the Camel Corps, right down on the Mojave. Hey, oh, Geronimo, what do you think of me? By golly, I'm high jolly, Haji Ali. To Albuquerque, we packed up our dromedaries. We showed the West our camelry. With bales of mail, we hit the trail, going where the mules failed. After years of that travail, we just couldn't make the sale. So call me High Jolly, Hobby Ali. I'm a man of war in the Camel Corps, riding out on the Mojave. Hey, oh, Geronimo, what do you think of me? By golly, I'm high jolly, high jolly. Our camels to Vamoose when the army asked us to reduce. Left Geronimo to his old papoose. He and me, we called a truce. Now, out there all around the west, you'll find my camels dispossessed. Even though I tried my best, I guess you know the rest. So call me High Jolly, High Jolly. I'm a man of war and a camel for right now on the Mojave. Hey, old Geronimo. What do you think of me? By golly, I'm high jolly, high jolly. By golly, I'm high jolly, high jolly. Yeah, 
thanks so much. Well, let me see here. I think I'll do this song. This is a song I wrote about my great grandmother who was born in 1908 and died in 2009. She was uh, just shy of her 101st birthday. That's a pretty good run. I decided, oh, if you turn 100, you should get to have a song written about you. And since I'm the only songwriter in my family, that uh, job fell on me. So uh, here's a song about my great-grandmother. Following a wagon through the sand From Amarillo to New Mexico That's the way they traveled back then It was 1915 and the family was struggling Headed west to chase the hope of a dream To the land of enchantment Hoping the best would happen Along with the family Well, she told me when I was young son The way that you make it Pointed to the brightest horizon Keep your feet falling and rising Don't you worry about what you left back east You won't get nowhere if you don't move your feet, you know That's how you make it home Wishing for the best She was a child of northern Texas Her home it always was the west She never graduated Didn't call herself educated She just trying to make it through Well she told me when I was younger son The future depends on you Things are easier now So these new hard times They seem harder to everyone
Thanks for listening, everybody. Hope you're staying well there in Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, and howdy to all you folks at WNCC. Uh, I miss it there. Hope I can return sometime soon. And uh, thanks to Nat for having me with this, and uh, stay tuned for all the rest of them. Thanks so much for listening. My name is Martin Gilmore. Bye-bye.